All right, quickly, let's jump to um, Musk and, and Twitter. As you know, Musk is uh, trying to establish new, um, new guidelines, uh, moderating guidelines for Twitter, deciding who can be on the platform, who, can, who, who should not, what kind of speech is allowed, what kind of speech is not. Um, it, some kind of moderation has to happen, uh, it, you know, and, and even having a moderation policy that says any legal speech is allowed is still a moderation policy. So it, some kind of uh, policy needs to exist. My complaints about Twitter have focused on the fact that uh, their policies have not been particularly objective and not been predictable, uh, have not been uh, knowable in advance. I'd like to see all social media, whatever their political stance, whatever ultimately they decide is their business, it's their platforms, it's private property. They get to decide on the, on the rules for what speech is acceptable and what is not on their platform. This is private property. What I would like as a user, as a content creator, as somebody who participates in this, I would like those guidelines to be objective, to be not knowable in advance. I'd like them to know, whoops, uh, you know, I shouldn't say this because I might get cut off or I'm going to say it anyway or, um, you know, just I know. I know what we, you know. You can't swear, but you can you can you can be a communist. You you can't be a fascist. You can be communist. You can't be a communist. You can be a fascist. Whatever. Just let me know what what are the standards, and uh, I'll either accept them or I'll leave the platform. And the problem is with all these platforms, including Twitter, there has been no objective standard. Uh, David Arsenault, awesome, thank you for the support. Really, really appreciate it. There be no objective standards. Uh, the standards have been uh, seemingly arbitrary. Um, the standards have been, um, uh, you know, biased, clearly biased uh, towards, you know, so, so, so some people, in a sense, inciting violence or, or, or presenting a, a, a bad uh, perspective, views of the world or particularly violent views or particularly just hate speech. But, but some, if they do it from a certain political perspective, Twitter has been lenient about and has been fine, no problem. You can keep doing it. For example, maybe Islamists uh, talking on there or, or, or certain parts of the left, um, that's been fine. But, but people on the right who have engaged in hate speech, they've been stopped. Uh, they've been um, limited much faster than it seems to be true on the left. Or for example, you know, you could get hate speech out of Iran which is fine to put on Twitter, but hate speech by individuals who in America is not acceptable. All kinds of standards where you just don't know. You, you have no clue, but there's clear bias. But um, it, 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 there's clear bias, but it's not objective no matter what. Well, part of the hope was that Elon Musk would bring some objectivity to this, would enforce some new standards, more objective standards, standards that, that made some sense and were predictable. Um, that Elon Musk would also take away some of the bias, eliminate some of the bias uh, against, let's say, the so-called right versus uh, the left. And early on, uh, you know, Musk talked about having some kind of committee uh, that would establish these kind of standards that would be, uh, that would determine what is uh, acceptable and who was not, and, and this committee uh, would make these decisions and the committee would be balanced and there'd be people from different parts of it. But just in the last few days, I mean, Musk has basically shown us that he is just, uh, he, his standard is basically his own emotional preferences. Unfortunately, Musk uh, has, you know, has abandoned objectivity just like it seems like every other platform and has made his platform no different than any other platform. He has presented and, and reported no new standards. Um, I don't know where this moderation committee is. I haven't seen anything new coming out of uh, Twitter to give us some kind of guidance of what is okay and what is not. But what have we seen? We've seen Elon Musk conduct a poll of, on whether Trump should be allowed on Twitter or not, back on Twitter or not. A, a poll, we decide these things based on majorities, we decide these things based on how many people voted on an arbitrary random Twitter poll. Really? 
that's how we make decisions. The poll was, I think, 52 to 48 for re uh, allowing Trump back on the platform, and therefore he, he won the poll, so Trump was allowed back on Twitter. And you could say, okay, the new standard is polls. We're going to poll everything. But people asked uh, Elon Musk, well, what about Alex Jones? You can have a, a poll about Al whether allowing Alex Jones back on Twitter or not. And if you allow Trump, why aren't you allowing Alex Jones? And, uh, you know, basically Elon Musk said something like, well, Alex Jones uh, hurts children and I have a soft swatch of children, so Alex Jones is banned and uh, Trump is not. In other words, uh, you know, I, I don't like Alex Jones. He upsets me. I, I feel bad. And therefore, and therefore, I, you know, I'm not. So complete subjectivism. Complete win worship, complete whatever, whatever, you know, whatever the, 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 the Elon Musk decides. So just say the, the, the moderating standards, the moderation standards at Twitter now are Elon Musk's whims. Elon Musk's whims. It, it's just ridiculous. We have less guidance and less standards right now than we had before Elon Musk took over. Instead of bringing us objectivity, what we now have is try to predict what Elon likes and what Elon doesn't like. Try to predict which uh, threads on Twitter Elon follows and which threads on Twitter Elon doesn't. I suspect that I can pretty much say anything I want on Twitter because I doubt Elon Musk reads my tweets. I mean, it's pathetic. Sad and pathetic. Come on, Elon. Live up to... The expectations you created. Give us objective standards. Give us standards that we can live by. Give us standards that we can understand. Whether we, uh, I agree with those standards or not, it will enhance Twitter dramatically just to know what's acceptable and what's not. And if you ban too much content, then people will leave Twitter and we'll be back to let's compete, which is my view of social media anyway. Let competition go. Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see which platform attracts the most users, and therefore provides the most value. All right, so that's Twitter. I really hope Musk gets his act together. I don't want to say too much about Twitter because I think a lot is going on. A lot is going on in the background. A lot is going on in terms of hiring and firing. A lot is going on in new features and trying to embed those. I, I don't want to judge Elon Musk's efforts in totality yet. I think there's still weeks and maybe months to go before we can do that. But on this issue about what is allowed and what is not, he clearly has, he clearly has failed and uh, so far. And I, I hope he gets his act together. I hope so. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.